Hello once again guys, this is Josh Haynes coming at you with another Sabre reveal and uh, we are looking at the KR Sabres Ahsoka Tano Rebel Silts today. I finally got around to finishing this one today. This one I've been done with for a couple weeks but I figured I'd wait till today till I had them both done to do a video. Uh, the reason these took me a while to do was because uh, Rick Rio from Goth 3 Designs was still designing the chassis for these so I had to wait for him to make the chassis before I did the installs on these. And I think he did a good job. So on this one, uh, we're using a 20 millimeter flat speaker from KR Sabres. This one is a 20 millimeter, excuse me, um, high bass speaker from KR Sabres. I went with the 20 millimeter flat speaker on this was because um, it was vibrating against this plate right here that goes on top. And so that's why I did it with this one. And it still sounds pretty good. Um, both are running a Nano Biscotti uh, V4 soundboard, each with a power extender. And uh, the LEDs are both Luxane Star Green, Lime White. And the reason we did that uh, was because um, Joshua Wang, who is the customer that wanted me to do the install on these, he wanted uh, Clone Wars uh, colors as well. So we opted to do Lime Green White on both of them. And these also have a crystal chamber um, that is made of 18 karat gold and the crystal uh, and both of these are 3D printed from Goth 3 Designs. And Josh requested green for the LED on both of them. They probably, probably white would, would make more sense as far as being candid to Rebels, but he opted for green and that's what I did for him. So, and uh, so now what I'm gonna do with the magical power of sexy editing, I'm going to go to first person point of view and show you all the crystal chambers. All right, so I've got the uh, KR Sabres Ahsoka hilts uh, opened up, and um, as you can see, the uh, crystals are lighting up green. That's what Josh requested. I know, I know by uh, canon, uh, these are supposed to be white, I guess, uh, for the Rebels thing, uh, but Josh requested green, so that's what we did. So basically, um, all of the the uh, sound card and the power extender are in the back um, in here, so you can't see them. And same goes for this hilt as well. Um, on this one, we we're using a 20 millimeter high bass speaker from KR Sabres. This one is a flat speaker from KR Sabres. The reason I had to go with the flat on this one was because the bass speaker was vibrating against this, causing all kinds of weird noise. So we opted, I opted for a flat speaker on that one. Uh, this one I didn't have that problem for whatever reason. So uh, we've got a um, activation switch right here, and same right here. Um, this uh, crystal chamber right here, these are 18 karat gold. That's what Josh wanted. He wanted bling bling for these. Um, 18500 battery right here, 18650 right here. Um, and both of these are running the Nano Biscotti V4s with power extenders. Um, just seeing if there's anything else. Recharge port is right here, actually, on this piece, the piece that uh, goes on top here. On here, it's actually inside, so this piece comes off no problem. Um, would have been cool if this was vented for sound, but you know it still sounds all right. So, and then uh, for the uh, for the LEDs, both of them are running a lime green white from Luxian Star, and uh, so I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed. Um, I think that's it. And the way I have the uh, crystals wired are um, the uh, crystals are wired similar to the AV switches I do that have illuminated lights in them. So I've got it wired to the pad so that when these sabers go into deep sleep mode, these crystals will stop illuminating and it'll keep from draining the batteries. So, and they look pretty cool. And like I said, green was what he wanted, so that's what we did. So, all right, so back to my sorry self. Okay, now I've got blades in these. And uh, I'm going to show you the fonts I went with. Uh, this first one is uh, Fulcrum by Shamim. And uh, basically I went with the same sound fonts on each hill. And try to vary the colors a little bit just to differentiate between the two. So here's this one. This is where the fun begins. And here's this one. I am no Jedi. All right. So this one has kind of a different uh, white tint to it. This one's kind of more of a bluish tint. But, I mean, I think they look pretty cool. 
And I, I think this one's a green flash on clash. This one, uh, this one is a lime. If y'all can see that and tell the difference. So. All right. And next, we're going into kind of Clone Wars territory now. Oops, sorry about that. Need to do one at a time. Here's the show though. My name is Soka Kono. Yes, we know. You thought you could get away? Just for the record, I saw the prototypes of these hilts in uh, Orlando at Star Wars Celebration. We all had, we uh, went to a saber meet, me and Richie Castellano did. And it was really cool. I got to meet Shamim Jordan and Cal Jeromey and Rick Rio from Goth 3 Design. And, um, Cal Jerome brought these and showed them to us. They were really cool. And um, you can see the unboxing video I did on these uh, a couple months back. And uh, shows a picture of Jordan Moll holding these prototypes. All right, so back to business. Okay, so both of these are lime green with white flash on the flash. You know, we're trying to try to we're trying to go for the rebels thing. All right. Can't get much closer, Sky Guy. I knew you'd get here, Snips, eventually. Always in time to save your life. Following direct orders isn't always the best way to solve a problem. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so green over here and uh lime over here so there's this game called uh star wars uh galaxy heroes and uh, i was kind of trying to get those colors sort of um it, it looks weird because the, the clash on here is lime and the one on here is green so it's like they're swapping that's cool the stupid and on this one, uh, it gives quotes for each, uh, for some of the clashes. And the plan is? I'm so stupid. I, I, I get amused by the easiest things. I'm not going to try and do anything crazy because I'm just not that great at uh, movements with two blades. So, so there you go, guys. Um, Sokotano KR Sabers hilts in all their glory. So, hope Josh enjoys them. And uh, definitely interesting install, uh, to say the least. These are still relatively new, so I'm sure uh, other Sabersmiths will uh, be coming out of the woodworks with installs on these. So. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, there's a guitar pick to your right that you can click on to subscribe to my channel and see future Saber reveals or whatever crazy things I got going on. Uh, thank you once again. This is Josh Haynes telling you to keep it sexy and may the force be with you.